our world and beyond. Space, in partnership with the European Space Agency. The chilling ruins of a prison colony in French Guyana. Finally closed in 1953, much has changed here since then. Modern structures contrast sharply with the ever-present equatorial forest. Here at the European spaceport in Kourou, only the present and future count. Let's start with our what we call our workhorse, Ariane 5. We see the market development and we see what member states have decided uh, according to this market evolution that we need a little bit more capacity to put satellites in that double configuration into geostationary orbit. That's what we call Ariane 5 ME, uh, a version that is more powerful uh, with the upper stage to be a little bit redeveloped. Rocket Ariane 1 was first launched 30 years ago. Since then, there have been 193 operations of all classes of Ariane, with a 97% success rate. The Ariane 5s launched as part of the CSG, the Guyanese Space Center, also known as the Spaceport of Europe in Kourou. Next year, they'll welcome a new member of the family, the Vega rocket. Born in Colifero near Rome, Vega's weaved with carbon wire. This technique makes it possible to create lighter rockets because weight is enemy number one when constructing these launchers. These three stages are powder propelled. For the polygon launching in Sardinia, explosive powder is used for testing Vega's motor. Ariane was a European project, but with French leadership. Vega is a European project with an Italian leadership. To work in an Italian environment with European companies is obviously very interesting. In Kourou, the finishing touches are being made to Vega's launch pad. Launchings and commercial exploitation are the domain of Ariane space. CNES, the French space agency, are responsible for the operational and legal aspects. ESA decides and supervises Vega's program. It will launch up to 1.5 ton satellites, uh, scientific satellites, uh, public satellites into sun synchronous and low Earth orbits. We want to have a complete family of launches here available in Kourou and in Sinamari. We have to mention the next uh, commune uh, as well, because uh, the Soyuz launcher will be implanted in the CSG, but on the ground of the city of Sinamari. So Soyuz will be able to come up to three tons into geostationary orbit due to the excellent situation that we have almost on the equator. So we have about 50% more capacity compared to Baikonur. Samara is a Russian city on the Volga. Soyuz is built here, the rocket with a 98% success rate. It's been launched over 1,700 times since its startup 43 years ago. At the beginning of December, the first two units embarked from St. Petersburg to French Guyana. The work involved to launch Soyuz in Sinemarie has almost finished. Geological constraints affect the schedule because the weight of takeoff requires the right conditions. What we're researching in Guyana is being able to launch from hard, solid ground. We found granite here at various depths. This one enabled us to put launching from solid ground behind us. Like Baikonur, it's 46 meters long, weighing 310 tons. In Guyana, infrastructures will be similar to those of Russian Cosmodrome, with just a few exceptions. These lightning conductors will fight against the tropical storms. This isn't all. In Kourou, we'll assemble the launcher horizontally, then it will be put at a vertical angle. The highest part will be assembled vertically. This is because we'll have a mobile gantry which doesn't exist in Baikonur. This will integrate this high part, ensuring access to the launcher. 
The conditions will be as close to those which exist in Europe. With Soyuz at the CSG, Ariane Space can offer their customers an array of launches in addition to the powerful Ariane 5. But there's more. With Soyuz at uh, CSG, we have the possibility, one point in time, whenever member states have decided to do so, to make an upgrade to a manned space capability. 2010 will mark the end of the American Space Shuttle missions. Only Soyuz can ensure the crews at the International Space Station are changed, so launches from Guyana are perfectly possible. ESA have already developed their program. We have started last year, not with manned space flight, but with the resupply of the International Space Station. We've launched the ATV, the uh, Autonomous uh, Transfer Vehicle. Um, that was a cargo vessel which brought equipment to the International Space Station, so we are taking part in the ISS deliveries. After the supply missions of the ISS, it's possible Ariane 5 and ATV could branch out. Currently, the ATV brings waste back from the ISS then it disintegrates on its return to the atmosphere. An upgrade possibility could be that we have a uh, return vehicle which uh, can bring back samples from the International Space Station safely down to Earth, a little bit like the Apollo capsule, but first unmanned. Another possibility would then be a new upgrade to have a manned capacity, so to launch astronaut with it and bring safely astronauts back to Earth which is under investigation for in, in an ESA program uh, to see if that possibility exists because then we have to have a launcher as well which is qualified for human space flight. Manned missions in Ariane 5 are possible but the decision belongs to the politicians as it would be an incredibly expensive operation. For the next 10 years, the stage is set with Ariane 5, Soyuz and Vega. But that doesn't mean we can't start thinking about Ariane 6. So that in 20 years, well, we'll have Ariane 6. Because it was 20 years ago that the great decision was made for Ariane 5. This new fleet will offer a range of energy settings. So the cost of launching will be rationalized. And geographically, there'll be an ideal place for launching these rockets. It seems the Europe spaceport in Guyana is in full flight.